Lesson 11 on trigonometric identities. In this lesson, we shall prove trigonometric identities. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now, let's consider the left hand side of this identity and we shall rewrite it as 3 sine x minus sine x plus 2x. We have just split 3x into x plus 2x. And on this term, we shall use the compound angle formula for sine, and it is sine a plus b is identical to sine a cos b plus sine b cos a. Now we shall use that on that term. Then we write the left hand side as 3 sine x minus sine x cos 2x plus sine 2x cos x. Right. Now let's remove the brackets. We have 3 sine x minus sine x cos 2x minus sine 2x cos x. And at this stage, we shall use the double angle formula for cos and sine. And these are cos 2x is identical to cos squared x minus sine squared x. And sine 2x is identical to 2 sine x cos x. Right, so we shall substitute what we have into that. Then the left hand side shall become 3 sine x minus sine x multiplied by cos 2x, which is that. So we have cos squared x minus sine squared x. Then we say minus sine 2x is that 2 sine x cos x multiplied by cos x all right now we shall expand what we have we have 3 sine x minus sine x cos squared x plus sine to the power of 3x minus 2 sine x cos x times cos x, we get cos squared x. Now we have like terms, this term and that term. So we're just going to add them up. Then we have 3 sine x. If you add these two, you have minus 3 sine x cos squared x plus that term sine to the power of 3x. Now at this stage, we shall use the square identity. And it is cos squared x is identical to 1 minus sine squared x. So wherever this cos squared x, we shall write 1 minus sine squared x. Then the left hand side of that identity becomes 3 sine x minus 3 sine x multiplied by cos squared x, which is that 1 minus sine squared x plus sine to the power of 3x. Now let's remove these brackets. We have 3 sine x minus 3 sine x plus a negative and a negative you get a positive so we have 3 sine to the power of 3x plus sine to the power of 3x we get a zero for that 3 sine x minus 3 sine x you get a zero 
and you add this up since they are like terms so you get 4 sine to the power of 3x then we conclude that the left hand side is identical to the right hand side we are done with the first part of this example now let's look at part b let's consider the left hand side of this identity and we know that tan x can be written as sine x over cos x and the double angle formula for cos is cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x so we shall substitute these onto the left hand side then we shall write the left hand side as sine x over cos x multiplied by cos 2x is that 1 minus 2 sine squared x plus 1 and then we shall write this as sine x over cos x into 2 1 plus 1 minus 2 sine squared x let's factorize this part so we shall have sine x over cos x multiplied by 2 1 minus sine squared x and we shall use the square identity for that you remember we said cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x so what we have in the brackets is just cos squared x then the left hand side becomes sine x over cos x multiplied by 2 cos squared x cos squared x is that then we divide this cos cancels with that then we shall have 2 sine x cos x and again you remember the double angle formula for sine is sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x then we can just replace this with that we replace this with that then we have our left hand side as sine 2x therefore the left hand side is identical to the right hand side we have come to the end of this lesson thanks for watching please subscribe like share and comment enjoy your day